Hey guys, it's Nick, and we are here with another review. This is yet another zombie defense. And this one's pretty good. I really like this one. That's why I picked it. Um, I don't usually like to do reviews of games that I don't like, unless there's some profound reason. So this one's good. So uh, that's why I picked it, and we are going to review it right now, and we're going to show you a little gameplay as well while we talk about it. Uh, let's jump right into it, and I'll explain as we go. We're going to do defense, which is the standard mode, of course. And we always pick the SWAT, because he would know how to handle himself the best. Let's do allow all, because we're nice, I guess. So, it is a top-down, as you can see. Uh, you aim with the mouse, you move with WASD. Uh, pretty fun, uh, nice little control system. It feels pretty fluid. And you are surviving. That is the whole game. You are just trying to survive. You're killing zombies, and that's it. You can build defenses to do this. You can play with other people. You're able to make your own server and everything, so there's no uh, going to be servers going down. So you're making the room yourself, which is cool. So that's pretty neat. So if you, you know, this game's really cheap. So if you pick it up and you play with some friends and shit, you can all just jump on, play a game. You don't have to look for big servers and stuff. You know, like some of these shooters that um, come out on free to play and early access and stuff, they're going to go down, and you're never going to be able to play them again. This one, though. You can go ahead and play with all your friends, even after, you know, people have long forgotten about it. So that's cool. That's a plus to me, and I thought I'd mention that first. So the basis of the game is you're going, it goes in uh, day-night cycles, and during the day you build, during the night you shoot and survive, and you collect supplies that the zombies drop sometimes. So you've got a lot of stuff to build here. As you can see, there's quite a bit uh, to pick from. There's a lot of weapons. They're all in the same row, which I don't like. That's a little UI complaint. Pretty minor. Um, there's a lot to do. Uh, I recommend, so you start off, there's wooden palisades. I recommend skipping those and going straight to the steel palisades. So you go ahead and you move around and it kind of moves where you are. And so if you want to place it, you just move over here. Hit place. And you have to buy them all. So you buy as many as you can. Okay. That's cool. Buy. Oh, damn it. Place. And place. Zombies can't come through right here, so that's nice. So these palisades and stuff that you buy make it a little easier to survive, obviously. And playing with people, of course, is a huge, uh, huge help. But so, you buy stuff, and you go to the next level. And that's the next night. And, of course, it gets harder as you go. So. Pretty straightforward game, but it's really fun. And I really do enjoy it. It's pretty addictive. You can sit and play this for a long time. It is kind of frustrating sometimes. You'll get really far along, and, uh, you'll die, and you just start over. Because it is that type of game. It is not, uh a progress game. And of course the zombies drop money, which is very important that you pick up, because that's how you're going to be building your defenses. So when you're playing with multiple people, you pretty much want to have somebody uh, somebody picking up money. That's like their dedicated job. That's what I recommend. That's what I play as. We're going to buy a better gun tomorrow night, or the next night. But so, uh, what is the magnet? I've never even seen that. It helps gather money. Oh, cool! That's awesome! I think that's new, since I've played this last. Yeah, really fun little game. Uh, we're going to play just a few more uh, minutes. I'm going to play with probably another night, just to show you uh, another gun. But yeah, this that's pretty much it, and it's cool. Hey, level... Oh, they added... Wow, this is cool. So this is brand new to me. They added skill points, which is really cool. Health points, health regen. Oh. Hmm. That's tough. Ooh, man, that's tough. Let's do, uh... Let's do health regen. That sounds good. I like that. Like Sam B in Dead Island. Cool. So we'll buy a few more Palisades here. Well, we'll buy another gun, actually. Let's, let's show you another gun. Uh, let's see. Chainsaw. I haven't used that one. Shotgun. Let's, let's buy the Assault Rifle. I can recommend that. Okay, how much is it? Five fifty. Price. Seven grand! Of course, we can't afford that. Okay, uh, let's try the SMG, then. That's cheap as hell. There's turrets you can buy, and you can set different guns on them and stuff. You buy ammo for them. They shoot for you and everything like that. It's really nice. It's a really nice setup. Uh, it's the, one of the negative things about it, I'll go ahead and mention. It's a little hard to run. And it doesn't look like it would be, but it's actually fairly intense on a computer. So if you're running it on a toaster, it's not going to be as smooth. But there are some settings you can mess with. And you have to buy ammo, too. There are some settings you can mess with to make it uh, more playable. But I wasn't able to play it until I got my new computer, actually. It, it just it ran like shit. And this game's all about reaction time. So, I mean, you've kind of got to, uh, you've really got to have that, and if it's too slow. Oh, see someone join. That makes it way that, oh, cool. 
is way the hell easier when you have multiple people. So I'm glad I get to kind of show that off too. They always want turrets and stuff. Everyone always ZLs if you don't have a turret. So that's pretty much one of the first things you want to build too, because people are pretty serious. And that's when I've talked with people, by the way. There's not uh, there's not actually a chat in this game, which is one thing, but you don't really have time to do it unless it's during the day. So. I said people yell, of course I met people bitching online. Thanks, guys. Chat. Anyway, that's pretty much the game. And uh, if you haven't played it, I really recommend this one. There's not much to say about it, but it is very fun. So you should. There, that's what I'm. Yeah, that's what it was. I keep fucking sending that message. SMGMO. And one person does the buying, which is crazy. All that responsibility on your shoulders. So that is that's kind of stressful if you're playing it and you're the person. Feel palisade. Okay. All right. We'll buy some more. So if you have uh, played some of these on the internet, where um, you know you do this, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. But it's a little bit nicer looking, and it's on Steam, so you can play on Steam. You can play with your friends real easily, and uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. Sorry for this little rambling review. This is kind of just how I do them. I just kind of uh, throw the game up, and I. Just start reviewing it. And I feel like I got everything I needed to say about this. Although it's not in a nice scripted format, but it's just a nice kind of off-the-cuff review. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you do go out and get this game. It's very cheap on Steam. And totally worth it. And it's a great little fun. Great little fun game to play. So, yeah. Thank you guys for listening, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.